On day one, I spawned into the dusty badlands as an awesome fire elemental. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! I may only be a baby fire elemental with 10 hearts, but this heat coming off of me tells me that those hearts burn with power and intensity. But I may have been burning just a little too bright because suddenly a huge and well-armed troll appeared right in front of me. Hey, what are you doing here? This is Mermex territory. State your business here. Uh, sightseeing? No offense, fire boy, but you seem a little sus. I'm gonna need you to come with me so I can see what's going on here. We could do it that way. Or you could taste my fire punch. I gave him a powerful fire-tinged punch, but it didn't do any good. He just shrugged it off and laughed. You got gumption, kid. I respect that. It'll take you far. If you ever get out of jail, come with me or I'll bop you so hard over the head, you'll wake up in the nether. I couldn't say no to a threat like that. All I could do was quietly walk away with the troll, following his every order. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey, no cliches. We walked to my jail in silence. Oh, sorry. On day two, the troll took me to the prison. It was a large, menacing building made mostly out of cut red rocks from the Badlands. Here. Get in the cell. You've got a cellmate, so at least you won't be lonely. Don't I at least get a phone call? Don't be smart with me, son. He threw me into the jail cell and locked the door behind me. He was right. I wasn't alone. There was a big red fire dragon in there, too. Oh, um, good fire dragon? I can talk. That really won't be necessary. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. The name's Zozo. They threw me in here just for walking around in the Badlands. It's totally unfair. What are you in for? Nice to meet you, Zozo. I'm Leanne, and I'm also here because of false accusations. That meat-headed troll claimed I ate 20 villagers in the nearby village. That's a horrible thing to accuse you of just because you're a dragon. I know. It was actually only like 15 people. The the situation was blown completely out of proportion. Uh, okay. I'm sure you had your reasons, Leanne. I wasn't in the business of judging people for their past mistakes. I was too focused on getting us both out of there. Can you shoot fireballs or something, Leanne? It might be useful to get us out of here. I'm afraid that's not actually part of my skill set. I only have the ability to manifest cakes out of thin air. She produced a delicious looking cake, but it's not going to help us escape from here. Maybe there's something I can do with my fire powers. I fire punched one of the wood walls and it immediately went up in flames. Soon enough, Leanne and I were able to escape. Thank you for freeing me, Zozo. As thanks for this, I won't eat you. That means a lot. Good luck out there, Leanne. And the two of us parted ways as I ran off into the night. On day three, I swooped through the Badlands, trying to get as far away from the troll in his jail as I could. Thank goodness I'm a fire elemental. If I wasn't, the sweltering heat of the Badlands would probably be killer. But the second I said that word, I could feel something rumbling under the ground. I stepped back as the blocks near my feet exploded and a large dark figure rose out of it. Oh my goodness, who are you? Tis I, the great and powerful Dread Horse, terror of the overworld also known as the Great Hay Devourer. Oh, wow. That sounds kind of dangerous. You wouldn't happen to be evil, would you? Evil? Um, no. I'm not evil at all. Just powerful. And as a fire elemental, I suppose you often experience the same thing. Come to think of it, you're right. People do treat me like I'm evil. Tis a common affliction. Come with me, young fire elemental. I will teach you to be strong. That sounds good to me. The name's Zozo, by the way. Yeehaw! Zozo, I think we can work well together. From day four to day five, I followed the Dread Horse into the Crimson Forest, a dark and fiery place full of lava that suited a fire elemental like me just fine. He led me a little further until we reached his lair. It's a good lair, not an evil lair. You shouldn't jump to conclusions like that. Of course, I wouldn't dream of it. He gave me a set of stone tools and a stone sword, telling me that before we could start working together, I needed to build myself a base. I want you to help me in my crusade of power, Zozo. But first, you must learn to stand on your own two feet. 
build that base, and then find your way back to me. Sir, yes sir! I decided that elsewhere in the Crimson Forest would be the perfect place to build my base. I mined enough blackstone to start building a little one-room base for myself so I could finally take the weight off of my feet. I think I've really earned a rest. But not just yet, because the same troll who'd locked me away in jail had somehow found me. Hey, I've got a name. It's Tony. What? How did you hear my narration? I'm extremely perceptive. Let's fight, you fiery little escaped criminal. I fought with Tony the troll, and he was certainly a formidable opponent. In the end, we reached a stalemate, and he retreated away from my base, dropping a shiny golden apple as he ran away. Ooh, that looks tasty. I took a bite out of the golden apple, and immediately I felt myself growing. I'd gotten bigger, stronger. I had 26 hearts now, and a new power, fire breath. Whoa, this is a perfect power for a fire elemental like me. From day six to day eight, I was wandering around my base when I saw Leanne the dragon passing through. Naturally, I decided to head over and see how she was doing. Hey, Leanne, how are you doing? I've been better, honestly. I lived in a gingerbread cottage not far from here, but it was eaten by pigeons while I was in jail. Wait. You lived in a gingerbread cottage? Wow, every part of your life is strange. I can't even deny that. Seems we just can't get a break around here, can we? Guess we've just gotta make our own luck. That reminds me, there's someone else I need to talk to. I return to the Dread Horse's base, excited to take on my first mission with him. I admire your enthusiasm, Zozo. That's why I'm going to give you a very special mission. There is a Cyclops in the Ebony Woods. He's a formidable warrior. So this fight will truly challenge you. It certainly sounds challenging, but I'm ready to give it a try. From day 9 to day 10, I ventured deep into the ebony woods until I happened upon the big, scary cyclops that the dread horse had warned me about. Eh, a fire elemental. A nasty little creature if there ever was one. Of course you'd come out here to bother me. Why does everyone always assume that I'm nasty? I'm gonna destroy you for that. Ho ho ho, I'd like to see you try. I flew into an attack, striking at the Cyclops with my sword and unleashing peals of fire breath. Even then, it was a tough battle, and it took me a while to finally defeat him. Once the Cyclops was done, I was alive, but badly injured. Lucky for me, a certain dragon was making her way through the forest. Wow, Zozo, you're looking really messed up. Here, yeah, take this healing potion. I got it from, uh... A friend who liked the neat, honest. Leanne gave me a health potion, which I immediately drank, refilling my hearts. That was refreshing. Thanks, Leanne. It was definitely helpful. I defeated a legendary Cyclops who'd been terrorizing this area for years. Legendary, huh? I'd never heard of him. Still, good for you, I guess. From day 11 to day 12, I returned to the Dread Horse's lair in the Crimson Forest, excited to tell him how well the battle with the Cyclops had gone. I burned him up real good. I can feel myself getting stronger already. Good. This is pleasing to hear, young Zozo. But one cannot rest on their laurels. If they wish to reach their full potential for your next mission, you must find and destroy the monstrous fae deep in the Ebony Woods. Their far more dangerous than a mere cyclops. I won't let you down, Dread Horse. But if I'm going to take on some stronger enemies, I need to get myself some stronger gear. That's why I went to the overworld, deep underground into an isolated mining cavern. My own fire led the way for me, and when I reached a healthy vein of iron ore, I started mining it up immediately. When my inventory was fully stocked, I found a crafting table and some furnaces down there in the murk, and used it to forge an iron sword, an iron pickaxe, and even some pieces of iron armor. Now nobody is gonna mess with me. I wouldn't be so sure, bucko. I turned and saw Tony the Troll standing close behind me. I'm taking you in, you nasty little fire beast. No way, Tony. I'm a free agent. With my new weapons and armor, it was easy enough to fight off the dastardly troll who soon ran out of the cave with his tail between his legs. This isn't the end, Zozo. This isn't the end. From day 13 to day 15, I followed the instructions of the Dread Horse and traveled deep into the ebony woods, searching for the diabolical fae that was lurking there. I didn't find any diabolical fae. Instead, I found a small community of adorable pink pixies. They were frolicking around a cozy campfire, surrounded by flowers. I don't think I'd ever seen something that looked so peaceful and sweet. I approached to investigate further. One of the pink pixies turned to speak to me. Hello, youngest. 
stranger? Are you here to partake in the merriment? No, I'm afraid I'm here on an important mission. I'm looking for some evil fae around here that I'm supposed to fight. Well, I'm afraid the only fae around here are us. And I don't think we're evil. We just want to frolic and have fun. And anyone out there is free to come and join us. Wow, you actually sound like really nice folks. I have no idea why the Dread Horse would want me to hurt someone like you. The Dread Horse? He sounds like a sinister character. Hmm, you have a point there. I'm starting to wonder why I hadn't realized this before. With all these new thoughts buzzing around my head like a swarm of angry bees, I turned and started heading back to the Dread Horse's base. He's got some major explaining to do. From day 16 to day 19, I returned to the Dread Horse's lair in the Crimson Forest. But his lair was empty. It was all just lava and molten rock. Something was wrong. And I mean even more wrong than usual. I'm getting some major bad vibes right now. Something is like really, really wrong here. I thought that maybe it was time for me to stop working with the Dread Horse. The whole thing was feeling pretty, well, dreadful. That's why I returned to my base. But on the way, I ran into Leanne again. Hey, Leanne, how's it going? It's all right. I was just coming back from dinner. Incidentally, there's an empty house a couple miles from here if you want some free stuff. That's nice of you to offer. It's been a weird day. I'm seriously considering not working with the Dread Horse anymore. Dread Horse? I heard that guy is incredibly evil. He loves going around and destroying people. Just for fun. And not even because he's hungry. Like a normal person. Uh-oh. I need to go back to the Ebony Woods. I have a feeling those innocent pink pixies are in danger. Oh, no. I'll come help later. For now, I'm gonna go sleep off my meal. Good luck, Zozo. I left the Crimson Forest and went running back to the Ebony Woods as quickly as I could. But as quickly as I could wasn't quick enough. The Dread Horse was standing there alone. All the pixies were gone. He must have destroyed them. And to think, I'd helped him. How could you? You were meant to defend good in the world, not destroy it. Oh, Zozo, so naive. You could have been strong. You could have been a contender. Tender. But you've disappointed me. You're not a true fire elemental. You're little more than a sad little match flame. Well, this sad little match flame is going to shut you down. This isn't going to go on any longer. Again with the naivete. If you want to fight me, then trust me. This will be the last time I ever show you mercy. He charged at me, kicked me with his hooves, and everything went black. From day 20 to day 22, I woke up with my head feeling like it was spinning. I was lucky to be alive after the kick that the Dread Horse had hit me with. I can't believe I ever trusted that jerk. In hindsight, he was so obviously evil and untrustworthy. Before I could wallow in my misery too much, I looked up and saw Leanne above me. Zozo, you're alive. You're actually alive. I'm legitimately impressed. I thought the Dread Horse would have completely annihilated you. Thanks for your vote of confidence, Leanne. Still, let's focus on the positives here. He may have duped you and used you as part of his plan to destroy all his enemies, but we can still turn this thing around. I'll make him more cake. Cake solves everything. You know what? You've got a point. We need to plan a counteroffensive. Come back to my base with me. We can work together there. Leanne and I returned back to my base, where I worked on building her a room of her own, where she could hang out and work on her baking spells. She made another delicious chocolate cake for me to enjoy while I contemplated my next steps. The Dread Horse won't know what hit him! From day 23 to day 26, I traveled back to the Badlands. It'll be nice to see this place outside of a prison cell. Phew, it's just as hot as I remember. Good thing I'm used to fiery temperatures. As I was exploring, hoping to find Tony the Troll so I could explain I was a good guy now, I heard a ghostly wail. Uh oh, is this place haunted? Wait, that doesn't sound scary. It sounds like someone who's scared. I think that ghost is in trouble. I followed the commotion to a spot near some trees where I saw a ghost under attack by a huge hulking dread beast. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Please, stranger, help me. Stranger? What stranger? Oh, that's me. I'll be right there. I blasted the dread beast with my fire breath attack, but it barely even phased him. Yikes, this guy's pretty tough. You get out of here, Mr. Ghost. I'll handle things here. Thank you. With the ghost out of harm's way, I continued my fight with renewed determination. Let's try this again. When it comes to fire breath, I guess the second time's the charm because I was finally able to take the dread beast down. As I finished the fight, I felt myself growing stronger. My victory lit a fire in me, literally. I was so excited that I shot a fireball into the air. I guess I've got a new fire elemental ability. Sweet. 
From day 27 to day 31, I continued exploring the Badlands. Honestly, this place isn't so bad at all. I kind of like it, now that I'm not locked up here. I spotted a herd of sheep wandering around, looking really lost. I guess it's also the Badlands. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm sorry, sheep. You guys can come live on my base if you need a place to go. I showed them the way back to my base, and they looked pretty happy to be there. I guess since you're moving in, you'll need somewhere to live too. I'll get to work. I spent the rest of my warped fences building a pen for the sheep. Here you go. I hope you guys like it. After I was finished, Leanne came over to me. Zozo, I've been working on something. A surprise for you. Come take a look. I followed her to a great big storage room. Wow, look at this. Thanks so much. Meanwhile, at the Dread Horse's definitely evil lair, he was having a very evil business meeting. So, you agree to my terms? You will help me destroy Zozo, remove the threat, and continue my quest to destroy all of my enemies? As a dread ghoul, I love to cause dread. I'd do it for free. With all the money you are offering me, you've more than bought my loyalty, boss. From day 32 to day 35, I ventured back out into the Badlands to continue my search for Tony the Troll. Honestly, I think we should change the name of this place to the Goodlands. I really like it here. Nice of you to say so. Back to finish the rest of your prison sentence? No, the only sentence I want to finish is this one. I'm sorry. I don't know what kind of game you're playing, Sparky, but I'm not letting you get away this time. He rushed at me, ready to attack, but I dodged as fast as I could. Wait, really? I don't want to fight you. I had things wrong before, but I want to help you defeat the Dread Horse. He's a really bad guy. Are you serious? If you're lying, legally you have to tell me. I'm really serious. I mean it. Okay. Well, then there's someone you want to meet. You're a little underdressed for an appointment with royalty, but we don't have time for a makeover. Hey, I think I look pretty nice. Wait, did you say royalty? Tony the Troll escorted me back to the Red Rock prison, but this time he didn't lock me up. He led me to a beautiful room where the Mermex Queen was waiting. Why, hello. What a nice surprise. Tony the Troll, one of my loyal subjects, told me about you. So I suppose you're here to join our war effort against the Dread Horse. Well, we need all the help we can get. Do you truly understand what you're up against, Zozo? I mean, I know he's pretty tough and a huge lying jerk. Very true, but he also has some pretty terrible plans for all of us. We must find a way to stop him. He intends to rid the overworld of anyone with a chance of defeating him in battle. He is obsessed with victory and power, you see. So if you can become a mighty warrior before he stops you, you may just be able to prevent untold tragedy. Oh. So, no pressure. Pressure makes diamonds of coal, dear Zozo. I wish you luck, for all of our sakes. From day 36 to day 39, the Mermex Queen's words got me thinking. Diamonds, huh? I should get down into the mines and see if I can find any. I followed the light of my own fire down into the darkness of the isolated mining cave and started my search. First, I found a rich vein of iron ore, enough to complete the rest of my set of iron armor. I was about to call that a good day's work when I stumbled upon some diamonds on the way out. Hey, look at that. Everything's coming up Zozo. I left the mine and skipped all the way back to my base. When I got there, Leanne was waiting for me. She seemed unusually happy. Hey, you're not gonna eat me, are you? Of course not. If I was gonna eat you, I'd bake you into a pie first. But enough about that. Look what I found. She gave me some Molotov cocktails. You should take them. If that dread horse tries to hurt you again, you can make them all explodey. Jeez, thanks. You're a really great friend. Later that day, I got a strange visitor. Uh, excuse me. Are uh, you Zozo? I turned and saw a Mermex Sentinel approaching my base. Yeah, I sure am. What's up? The queen requests your presence, immediately. From day 40 to day 43, I followed the Mermex Sentinel to the court of the Mermex Queen. Hi, Queenie. Uh, I mean, uh, greetings, your majesty. You wanted to see me? Yes, Zozo. I fear danger looms over us all. My scouts tell me that the Dread Horse has hired a new right-hand man, a terrifying beast to do his bidding. I do not know where he will strike first, but we must all be on high alert for any signs of trouble. As soon as she said that, an enormous Dread Ghoul smashed through the wall. You mean this kind of trouble? Nice place. It would be a shame if someone smashed it to pieces. <laughs> I ran out of range of the chaos over to the Mermex Queen. Uh-oh, this guy's huge. I don't think I can beat him. 
them. Do not worry, Zozo. My royal guards will handle this. Just get yourself somewhere safe. Well, who am I to defy the orders of the queen? As the dread ghoul continued causing havoc, I ran out of there at the speed of fire. Which is like the speed of light. Only a fire elemental is doing it. From day 44 to day 49, I arrived back at my base. That was pretty scary. I sure hope the queen is okay. I'm quite all right. Thank you. Ah, how'd you get here so fast? I'm a queen, Zozo. I'm very good at many different things. One of those is being fast. Not that I mind you visiting me, but what are you doing here? I came to tell you about a valuable item that I believe may sway the outcome of this battle in our favor. There exists a weapon called the Legendary Mace of Honor that grants its wielder immense power and bravery. I believe if you were to get your hands on it, you could defeat the Dread Horse and stop him from eliminating all of the best warriors in the overworld. Wow, that sounds pretty special. Are you sure I'm the guy for the job? I am. I believe you too, Zozo, are very special. That's why I'm giving you this regular Mace of Honor. That way you can get used to swinging it until you get to the legendary one. Wow, thanks. Journey to the Ebony Woods, and you should find clues there that will lead you to the legendary Mace's location. It is hidden, you see. Of course, the best stuff's always hidden on a wild quest. Okay, I won't let you down. From day 50 to day 53, I return to the Ebony Woods. I wish I knew what I was looking for. Maybe I should just start shaking trees and hope a clue falls out? No, that doesn't make any sense. Hello, is there anyone out here who knows about the legendary Mace of Honor? Legendary Mace of Honor, you see? A mermex soldier emerged from behind a tree, nearly making me scream in surprise. But I didn't scream, I just jumped a little. I haven't heard that name in years. Who'd you say you were again? I didn't, I just got here, but I'm Zozo. Huh, yeah, Zozo, I've heard tell of you. So you seek the legendary Mace of Honor in your quest to defeat the Dread Horse, yes? Yes, do you know where it is? Sadly, no. The location has long been lost. But I do know that it is the right weapon to seek. You see, long ago the Dread Horse battled another knight who wielded the mace. He was unable to defeat the man, no matter how he tried or how many tricks he pulled during their fight. So. He ambushed the warrior while he was sleeping, and the poor fool forgot to sleep with his mace. So, he perished. I hope you won't make the same mistake. So I should make sure that I finish the fight then and there. And always sleep with a weapon. Always. I don't know about that, but thank you. I guess I'll go home and figure out what to do next. From day 54 to day 57, I pass through the Badlands on my way home. Uh-oh, I hope that Dread Ghoul isn't still out here. Well, prepare to be just like my dad. Disappointed, I'm still here and ready to crush you. Yikes, what do I do? Uh, fireball attack. I shot a fireball at him, but it barely even left a mark. I tried the Molotov and it set him on fire. Thanks. I was getting kind of chilly. Uh-oh, that was my best move. I'd better get out of here. That's right. You'd better run. Next time, I'll destroy you. I didn't want to, but I had to flee. Meanwhile, the Dread Horse was up to no good. Zozo thinks he can find the legendary Mace of Honor. Huh. By the time he locates that lost relic, it will be much too late. The Dread Ghoul is making excellent progress. It won't be long now until all the competition is wiped out, and I am the most powerful warrior in the overworld! From day 58 to day 62, I made it back to my base uncrushed. That was a close one. Welcome back, Zozo. Can I show you what I've been working on? Sure. Yay, follow me. Look, I built a furnace. That's something helpful, right? Definitely. Also, I started something else, but I'll need your help finishing it. See, it's gonna be a defensive bunker, somewhere where we can hide out and be safe if the Dread Horse or any of his helpers come by looking for trouble. Could you gather some Crimson High Faith for me so I can finish it up? Sure. Sure, great idea. I went out into the forest and gathered a whole bunch of Crimson Hyphae, then took it back to the base. There should be plenty to finish the bunker. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the mines. Down in the mining cavern, I continued my search for diamonds, and what did you know, I found some. I've heard that diamonds are a hero's best friend. Let's see if that's really true. I took the diamonds back home and crafted a diamond sword, a diamond pickaxe, and a shiny new diamond helmet. From day 63 to day 66, I heard Footsteps approaching outside the storage room. Hello? Oh, your majesty. Hello, Zozo. I have wonderful news. I have discovered the location of the legendary Mace of Honor. Will you journey there with me and see its power? Totally. Where are we going? 
to the warped forest. Come with me. Time is of the essence. I wasn't sure what that meant, but it sounded serious, so I followed the Mermex Queen to the warped forest. So where is it? It should be just beyond this gate. Oh no, it appears to be locked. Uh, I don't suppose you've got a key? I do not. We will have to make another plan. From day 67 to day 70, I return to my base, feeling frustrated. Why is it so hard to get my hands on that legendary weapon? It doesn't seem fair. A knock at my door interrupted my complaining. Sozo, -so, I know you are frustrated, but will you heed the hero's call once more and assist me? Okay, what's going on? There is a siren sowing discord in my court. Please help me remove her before she causes any damage. I followed the queen back to her court in the Badlands, and sure enough, there was a siren there trying to destroy the place. Hey, any chance you'd be okay with just leaving? No, never. I can't. This is the only way I can make my dream come true. That doesn't make any sense. Before I could ask her what she meant, the siren attacked me. I dodged, returned a few hits, and shot a fireball at her, knocking her back. While she was knocked off her fin, I decided to ask. What are you talking about? The dread horse promised to make my dreams of becoming a professional singer come true if I came here and caused a huge distraction. He's a liar. He's never going to help you with your career. I'm sorry, but you know who could give you a gig? The Mermex Queen, if you stop messing up her court. Oh, that would be amazing. I just hope I didn't make too much of a mess of things. And I hope that Zozo guy's house is okay. That Zozo guy is me. What do you mean? I was supposed to get you here so the Dread Horse could do something to your base. I'm so sorry. Oh no, I've got to get home, fast. From day 71 to day 74, I sprinted back home to my base as fast as I could. When I got there, I saw that Dread Ghoul attacking, knocking down one of the walls and smashing everything in sight. Get out of here. You ran away from me last time, so I decided to come to you and crash your party. I'm not even having a party. Well, I'm having fun anyway. <laughs> I blasted him with a fireball, but again, it didn't make a difference. He shrugged it off, then picked up my stashed Molotov cocktails and ran away with them. Thanks for the present, loser. No, stop, come back here. But it was too late, he was gone. And once again, I couldn't defeat him. I went to my room to think and feel sad without anyone looking at me. Maybe he's right, maybe I am a loser. Leanne opened my door with a bang. You're not a loser, Zozo. You're my friend, and you're doing a great job. Really? So you had some setbacks. Everybody does. Look, I fixed the damage to the base, and soon we'll have that bunker. It's going to be OK. I promise. Back at his base, the Dread Horse was cackling wickedly. Zozo's home will be in ruins by now, and the Dread Ghoul has been taking out threat after threat. With Zozo out of the way and such power on my side, I'll never lose a battle again. I will be the ultimate knight. From day 75 to day 78, the Mermex Queen came back to see me at my base. Hey, you're back. You come to see me so much, maybe you should just move in. That's a very kind offer, Zozo, but I have a palace. Anyway, I'm here to give you some new information. The Dread Ghoul took the item he stole from you and hid it in his home outside of the Dread Horse's lair. You can find him there and reclaim what he took from you. The Dread Horse is not home at the moment, so you will be able to face his henchmen one on one. Oh, and I brought you this. She handed me a weeping vine bow. This is amazing, thank you. But every time I fought this guy, I've lost. Like, really, really lost. How do I know I won't lose again? You don't know anything for certain, but you must try. And remember this when you do. You are a creature of flame, bright, enduring, powerful. Fire needs one thing to burn, oxygen. So when you find yourself about to lose your light, remember to take a deep breath. Good luck, Zozo. From day 79 to day 84, I took my new weeping vine bow and marched my way down to the Dread Horse's lair, ready to confront the Dread Ghoul and get my stuff back. I found him standing outside of the lair, waiting for me. Here to shoot me with another pathetic fireball? No, here to beat you with this. I fired my weeping vine bow at him and it hit with good. Gotcha. <laughs> It's just a scratch. I'll do much worse to you. He lunged at me and attacked, knocking me down. I scrambled back to my feet and fired my bow again. But he was right. It wasn't doing enough real damage. Oh no, oh no, what do I do? Wait, the queen said to breathe. 
I need to breathe. I took a deep breath and thought about how much she believed in me, how much all my friends believed in me, and I felt strength surging through my veins. My fire burned brighter than ever, and suddenly I began to transform. I grew bigger and stronger, standing at the same height as the Dread Ghoul. My heart increased, and I felt a new power coursing through me. Laser attack! I blasted the Dread Ghoul with a laser and finally defeated him. When he collapsed, he dropped my Molotov cocktails, and he also dropped a key. I wonder if this is the key to that gate. From day 85 to day 89, I returned home, feeling victorious. Leanne greeted me as I arrived. Zozo, the bunk is almost done, but I wanted you to be the one to add the final piece. Would you do the honors? It would be my honor. Wait, you said honor already. I'd love to. With that, the bunker was finally finished. Now I'm off to see if this key does what I think it does. I traveled back to the warped forest and used the key to open the lock on the gate. I'm in, I did it. I could see the legendary mace, but it was guarded by a nasty looking dread lich. Well, I guess I'll fight this guy. I've come this far, I'm not going back now. With one shot from my weeping vine bow and one laser attack, the dread lich was history. And I finally had the legendary mace. From day 90 to day 94, I was just starting my journey home when I saw the dread horse blocking my path. Impressive work, Zozo. I underestimated you. Would you like to work with me again? We made such a good team before. No, we made such an evil team before. I'll never work for you again. I know better now. Well, have it your way. Suddenly, he punched me so hard, the mace slipped out of my hands. I'll be taking this legendary mace. Thank you for fetching it for me. All of this left me so stunned, I couldn't even move. From day 95 to day 97, I was still stunned. And then I remembered what usually gets me back on my feet, chocolate cake. I ate the entire thing and finally recovered. I had enough energy to pick myself back up and left the area. I rushed over to the Mermex's queen's court to warn her about what happened. When I got there though, it was in shambles. The dread horse had already been there and the Mermex queen was badly hurt. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Sorry, your majesty. He has taken the legendary mace, but he cannot wield it. It does not have honor, and its power will not allow him to command it. You must get it back and use it to defeat him. Do not weep for me, Zozo. Avenge me. I will. I promise. On day 98, I returned home and saw that it was in shambles too. No, he beat me here and he destroyed everything. Not everything. I hid in the bunker while he was here and I'm still in one piece. When this is all over, I'll bake a huge cake to celebrate. I promise. What if there's nothing to celebrate? There will be. You just have to keep fighting. You should go to the Dread Horse's lair and confront him there. See how he likes having someone mess with his home. You're right. Let's take the fight to him. On day 99, I traveled to the Dread Horse's lair. Whatever I do, I'm going to get that legendary mace back. I ran inside where I found the Dread Horse waiting for me. I see you've made it here. Impressive, but not impressive enough. I've had enough of your antics. Time to perish. He charged at me with the mace, but it didn't hurt me. What? Why won't this blasted thing work? While he was distracted, I hit him with a fireball. He was so surprised, he dropped the legendary mace. I ran and grabbed it, but I couldn't get out of the way before he attacked me, dealing a lot of damage. Oh no, I have to get the legendary mace out of here. Before he could attack me again, I fled back to my base. Hey, did you win? Not yet. I need to figure out how to use this legendary mace. Just hold it and think of what you're fighting for. So I did. I held it tight and thought about justice, about making up for the hurt I caused, about avenging the fallen queen. And the legendary mace got hot in my hand, which is saying something as a fire elemental. Suddenly, my injuries were totally healed and the damage to the base was magically healed. I feel strong. I feel amazing. I feel like I can win. On day 100, I charged back into the Dread Horse's lair. Yo, Dread Horse, this ends here and now. What an arrogant fool. The legendary mace is a myth, don't you see? It holds no special power. Maybe not for you, but that's because you feel no honor. You only beat people by sneak attacking them or having other people do your dirty work. No more. He tried to attack me, but I countered him and I attacked with the legendary mace. It knocked him back and I dodged his next attack, then hit him again and again until finally the dread horse went down for good. I did it. I won. I'm so happy. Now I need to get 
at home and see if Leanne will make that cake.